How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARK Let's Build video, and in today's video, we're going to be building this fishing hut that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced-over instructions, so you can get this build on your ARK. And make sure guys, you check out the description below for a full list of building materials you will need for this build, as well as the map cords where I built this. And guys, this build is actually a remake of an older build that I did to make sure that it works 100% on official settings. So guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is use pillars and ceilings to make up the base of our build. So we're going to head a little bit into the water here and place a wooden pillar down in the ground, and then add one more on top of it just to get us right above the water's surface. Now you may need to use more than two, it just depends on how deep your water is. Now go ahead and place a wooden ceiling on top and to the right of that. Add another one right here behind it and then a wooden hatch frame to the right of that. And then place another wooden ceiling right here and go ahead and drop pillars down into the ground from that to give us a foundation. And then go ahead and add one more wooden ceiling right here to the side of it. And this will make up the base of our build. Next, we're going to go ahead and build up the walkway to get us to our hut. So here on the front left ceiling, we're going to go ahead and add two wooden ceilings in front of it. Then we're going to place a wooden fence foundation on this wooden ceiling, just like this. Go ahead and place a wooden pillar on each side of that. And then go ahead and drop a stone pillar down into the ground below those wooden pillars. And then if you want to extend this out more, you can. Or you can just go ahead and from right here, get out a wooden stair and drop it into the ground. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add some additional pillars. So starting here on our front side, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation on this ceiling right here, as well as this ceiling right here. We'll add another one here on the right side and another one over here on the left side. Then we're gonna go to our back and place one right here on this ceiling, another one on this ceiling, and we're also gonna place one on this inline between the two ceilings. Now heading back to the front, we're gonna come over to this right side and place a wooden pillar right here on this snap point. We'll add another one here on this corner. And we'll add another one here on this inside corner. We'll place one more right here on this side and one more right here. Then we're going to go ahead back to our right side and drop one wooden pillar down from each of those. And then we will head back to the right side and now that we're getting down into the ground we'll use stone pillars. Now that you have the front pillars all done we're going to come to the back side and we're going to place a wooden pillar on this corner right here, right down the middle, and also on this corner over here. We'll drop another two wooden pillars down from each of those. And then again, now that we're getting close to the ground, we'll go ahead and use stone pillars. Now, last pillar we're gonna place right here on that inline that we placed that fence foundation, we're just gonna place one wooden pillar right here. Once you have those placed, you can go ahead and destroy those original two beams that we placed. And you can also go ahead, if you have any straggling pillars that you accidentally placed, go ahead and destroy those as well. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and place our first level of wall. So coming one ceiling in here, we'll place a stone door frame right here and fill that in with a reinforced door. Add a stone wall next to it. On the right side, we'll start with a stone wall and then a stone window frame and a greenhouse window. On the back side, we'll place a stone wall on each of these. On the left, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone wall and then we'll place a stone window frame and greenhouse window. Then in between these two walls on top of them, we're going to place a wooden catwalk. We'll do that again here on the back and again over here on the right side. Next, we're going to add some additional pillars. So starting here on the front, we're going to place one pillar on top of this one, two right here down the middle, and one more right here. In this next line, we'll just add one more on each of these. 
We'll add two more here on this middle one. And then on our back side, we'll add one more on each corner and two more in the middle. Now we're gonna go ahead and start building up our second level, but first we need to go around the first level of walls and add thatch ceilings on the outside above them. Now we'll go back to the front and we'll go ahead and get out a wooden wall. And we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have this snap point right here and go ahead and place it. And this will be actually placing on the thatch ceiling. So go ahead around and do this on each one of these. Then on the front and the back side, you can just go ahead and add the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of each one. Once you have all of those placed, go ahead and destroy those thatch ceilings. Now we're going to go ahead and add our roof, but before we do, we're going to do a few more quick little things. So first here on our patio on the front, right here in this middle inline, we're going to go ahead and place three high stone double door frames, just like that. Then on the inside on this back corner, we're going to place a wooden ceiling right here. And then we're going to go ahead and place a rope ladder to get us up to that. Now you want to make sure that you're getting it in the snap point where you can actually use it. So you may need to rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this snap point right here that you are able to climb up. Now we'll go ahead to the top here and fill in this top with sloped wooden roofs. And we'll also extend one out right here on the front and do this on the other side as well. All right, now the last thing we're gonna do here on the outside is go around this patio and walkway and add wooden railings on top of each of these ceilings, leaving only our entrance there on the front open. All right, so now just a few quick things to do here on the inside to finish it off. So first on the ceiling that we have up there between these two pillars, we're going to place a wooden railing. Then we're gonna get out a fireplace and we're going to place it on this back right wall. Now we don't really have room for a ladder to help us line it up perfectly straight. So we're just gonna do our best to get it as straight as possible and just place it up tight on that wall, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and get out a bench or a wooden bench. And we're gonna go ahead and place one between this pillar and this wall and one more between the pillar and this wall over here. All right, guys, now that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw some paint on this build. I'm going to add in some decorations. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what I come up with. All right, guys, so for the paint scheme here on the outside, I have used the mud color on all of the darker wood like the pillars and the floors. I have used a combination of the mud and the parchment colors here on the flipped wooden walls. I've left all of the stone and greenhouse alone and then I have painted our roof with the forest color. I've got a little bit of clutter here on the outside on our porch as we head inside here. I've added all of the essentials down here on the bottom or a few of the essential starter stuff down here on the bottom. We've got a preserving bin, a fire, and a pestle. We've created a little bedroom area up here with a rug and a bed. And we've just kind of cluttered the place up a little bit by placing vessels on our catwalks and also placing a map over here on the wall. And as you can obviously see, we have our fire going nice and strong. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my social media and go ahead and hit me up on there and stay connected. Anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank Thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.